क्वेश्चन नंबर 501 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए नो फैक्ट ऑफ व्हिच कोर्ट विल टेक जुडिशियल नोटिस नीड टू बी प्रूव्ड फैक्ट्स एडमिटेड नीड नॉट टू बी प्रूव्ड ऑल फैक्ट्स एंड द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंट्स मे बी प्रूव्ड और बाय ओरल एविडेंस ओरल एविडेंस मस्ट बी डायरेक्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट हैज बीन आस्क व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट हियर ऑप्शन सी इज नॉट करेक्ट दैट इज ऑल फैक्ट्स एंड कंटेंट्स ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंट्स मे बी प्रूव्ड बाय ओरल एविडेंस इज नॉट करेक्ट देयरफॉर इट विल बी द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 502 ओरल एविडेंस इज अलाउड ऑप्शन ए only when it is given in court even if it is given either in the court or elsewhere when it is given both in trial and investigation when it is given before a police officer in investigation here correct answer is option a only when it is given in court oral evidence is allowed question number 503 a witness who is unable to speak gives his evidence by writing in open court evidence so given shall be deemed to be a here also correct answer is option a that is oral evidence question number 504 which of the following statement is correct A who has taken vow of silence gives his evidence in writing in an open court. His evidence shall be deemed to be a oral evidence. Here, option C is the right answer. Question number five hundred five. Oral evidence under section sixty of the Evidence Act, eighteen seventy two, must in all cases be indirect, circumstantial, direct, may be presumed by court. Correct answer is option C. That is direct. Oral evidence must be direct under section sixty. Question number five hundred six. H says that Y told him that A killed B. This is option A primary evidence B best evidence C hearsay evidence D admission here correct answer is option C that is hearsay evidence question number 507 what is direct evidence choose the most appropriate answer evidence given where witness testifies directly his own knowledge as to the main fact or facts and disputes that which needs to be proved the facts at issue which without the intervention of proof of any other fact one requiring support of other evidences when the principal fact or factum probandum is attested directly by witnesses things or documents here courts are only first second and fourth are correct and b all of them are correct c only first and second are correct and d only first second and third are correct here correct answer is option a that is only first second and fourth are correct that is evidence given where witness testifies directly his own knowledge as to the main fact or fact in dispute is correct second that which tends to prove the fact as issue without intervention of proof of any other fact is correct and a fourth one where the principal fact or factum probandum is attested directly by witness things or documents is also correct whereas third one requiring support of other evidence is not correct question number 508 which one among the following statements according to the indian evidence act is correct correct answer is option c that is all facts except content of documents or electronic records may be proved by oral evidence here option c is the correct answer question number 509 which of the following section of evidence act recognizes the principle here say evidence is no evidence correct answer is option a that is section 60 question number 510 what is not the main principle of the which underlines the law of evidence option a the best evidence must be given in all cases evidence must be confined to the matters in issue here say evidence must not be admitted here say evidence must be admitted here in question number 510 correct answer is option d here say evidence must be admitted this is incorrect it is not the main principle that underlies the law of evidence that's why it is incorrect and in this question the not in this question it has been asked which of the following is not correct therefore option d will be the right answer question number 511 if x is charged with y's murder which of the following will be a hearsay evidence option a z in his evidence states that i saw x stabbing y with a knife option b evidence of a that z told me that he had seen x stabbing y option c both a and b and option d none of the above here correct answer is option b that is evidence of a that z told me that he had seen x stabbing b is b a hearsay evidence option b is the correct answer question number 512 under the law of evidence the term hearsay is used with reference to what is done written spoken all of these correct answer is option d all of these question number 513 which of the following is not a hearsay evidence option a statement of police that on the basis of inquiry conducted by him the accused was not at home on the night of incident report of the newspaper report prepared on the basis of the information provided by the officer statement of witness to prove the relationship between the persons in question number 513 correct answer is option a option a is not the hearsay evidence question number 514 the details of an incident printed in a newspaper as categorized as documentary evidence indirect evidence hearsay evidence relevant evidence correct answer is option c that is hearsay evidence Question number five hundred fifteen. A informs B that he had heard from X that Z has committed murder of C few days ago. Evidence of B, when examined as a witness in court, would be considered as direct evidence, hearsay evidence, circumstantial evidence, and expert evidence. Here, correct answer is option B, that is hearsay evidence. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 516 हियर से एविडेंस इज जनरली इन एडमिसिबल हाउवर इन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग केसेस इट इज एडमिसिबल ऑप्शन ए रेस्ट चेस्ट ए ऑप्शन बी एडमिशंस एंड कन्फेशन ऑप्शन सी डाइंग डिक्लेरेशन ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दीस इन ऑल ऑफ दीस केसेस हियर से एविडेंस विल बी एडमिसिबल क्वेश्चन नंबर 517 Which one of the following is not a document under the Indian Evidence Act? Option A: an inscription on a stone of a building, a photograph, a print out of a message sent through mobile or computer, a knife recovered by police from the possession of an accused and produced in the court. Here correct answer is option D. Question number 518. In which one of the following cases here say evidence is not admissible? Option A: statement of exper experts expressed in treaties if the author is dead or cannot be found. Where I witness told the facts to another person, a statement of that person. If the statement of a deceased person, when it relates to cause of his death. If the statement is part of the transaction in issue. Here correct answer is option B. Where I witness told the facts to another person, a statement of that person. Question number five hundred nineteen, chapter five of the Indian Evidence Act deals with. Correct answer is option B of documentary evidence. Question number five hundred twenty. Contents of the documents are proved by option A, primary or secondary evidence, examining by witness not seen the document, by taking extraneous evidence into consideration without any evidence. Here, correct answer is option A. Contents of the documents are proved by primary or secondary evidence. Question number five hundred twenty-one. According to section sixty-one of the Indian Evidence Act, the contents of the documents may be proved by primary evidence, secondary evidence, both A and B, neither A or B. Here, correct answer is option C, both A and B. That is primary evidence and secondary evidence. Question number five hundred twenty-two. Section sixty-two of the Indian Evidence Act deals with primary evidence, secondary evidence, proof of documents by primary evidence, cases in which secondary evidence relating to the documents may be given. Here, correct answer is option A. That is primary evidence. Section sixty-two of the Indian Evidence Act deals with primary evidence. Question number five hundred twenty-three, which is which is considered as the best evidence? Here is evidence, primary evidence, real evidence, secondary evidence. Here correct answer is option B. That is primary evidence is considered to be the best evidence. Question number five hundred twenty-four, primary evidence means it includes oral accounts of the contents of the documents by a person who has seen the original document, the original document, true copy made from and compared with the original documents by a private party, none of the above. Here correct answer is option B, the original document. Question number five hundred twenty-five. Which one of the following is a primary evidence? Option A: copies made from original. B: documents produced for the inspection of the court. Certified copies of a document. Photostated copies of a document. Here, correct answer is option B. That is, documents produced for the inspection of court. Question number five hundred twenty-six. Which one among the following statement is not correct according to the provisions of the Indian Evidence Act? Options are: where the document is executed in several parts, each part is primary evidence of the document. B. Where a document is executed in counterpart, each counterpart is primary evidence as against the parties executing it. C. Where a document is executed in counterpart, each counterpart is primary evidence for the parties executing it. D. Where the document itself produced before the court for its inspection, its primary evidence of the document. Here in question number five hundred twenty-six, it has been asked which among the following statement is not correct according to the provisions of the Indian Evidence Act. Correct. In uh, here, option C is the correct answer. C is not correct. Therefore, it will be the correct answer. Question number five hundred twenty-seven. Where a number of documents are all made by one uniform process, as in the case of printing, lithography, or photography, each is primary evidence of the contents of the rest. Question number five hundred twenty-eight. A document can be proved by producing it before the court by examining the party who has produced it by examining the person whose handwriting. The document is written or signed by examining the person in whose favor the document is executed. Here, correct answer is option A. A document is proved by pro by producing it before the court. Question number five hundred twenty-nine. Where a document is executed in several parts, option A. Each part is primary evidence of the document is correct answer. Question number five hundred thirty. Which of the following is a primary evidence? Option A. Copies made from the compared with the original. Counterpart of documents as against the parties who did not execute them. Counterpart of a document against the parties who executed it certifies copies of document. Here in this question, it has been asked which of the following is a primary evidence. Option C, that is counterpart of a document as against the parties who executed, is a primary evidence. Question number five hundred thirty-one. Which one of the following is called primary evidence? Photograph of original, certified copies, oral accounts of the document, handwritten letter. Option D is the right answer. Handwritten letter is a primary evidence. Question number five hundred thirty-two. Under the Indian Evidence Act, what is not a primary evidence? Document made by printing, document made by lithography, document made by photography, document of copies of common original. Here in this question, it has been asked which of the following is not a primary evidence? Option D here is not a primary evidence. That is document copies of or.
कॉमन ओरिजिनल इज नॉट प्राइमरी एविडेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ प्राइमरी एविडेंस प्रिंटिंग लिथोग्राफी फोटोग्राफी सर्टिफाइड कॉपीज करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सर्टिफाइड कॉपीज इज नॉट अ प्राइमरी एविडेंस वेर इज प्रिंटिंग फोटोग्राफी लिथोग्राफी इज अ प्राइमरी एविडेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव Which one among the following is not a primary evidence? A documents executed in several part, a copy made from or compared with original documents executed in counterparts, document made by one uniform process. Here in this question, it has been asked which of the following is not a primary evidence? Option B here is the right answer. A copy made from or compared with original is not a primary evidence. Question number five hundred thirty-five. The primary evidence in respect of a document which is prepared in many original copies will be. First original copy, all original copies, all copies are secondary evidence, none of the above. Here correct answer is option B, that is all original copies. Question number 536. A document prepared in two copies and A alone signed one copy, while B alone signs the other. A then hands the to B the document signed by himself and B hands to A the document signed by himself. With respect to this and as prescribed under section 62 of the Indian Evidence Act 1872, choose the true propositions. Here options are both the copies are primary document. Both documents executed by A is primary evidence against B. Document executed by A is primary evidence against A as well as B. Document executed by B is primary evidence only against B. Here in this question, correct answer is option D. Question number five hundred thirty-seven. A carbon copy of the injury report prepared by a doctor by one uniform process by which the original was prepared may be admitted as. secondary evidence primary evidence direct evidence circumstantial evidence correct answer here is option b that is primary evidence question number 538 which one among the following is not a primary evidence a document executed in several parts a copy made from or compared with the original document executed in counterparts documents made by one uniform process here correct answer is option b a copy made from or compared with original is not a primary document question number 539 what is primary evidence option a The commissioner prepared a report and signed it. A copy of medical certificate prepared from the original. A photocopy of the will. Enlargement of a photo from another photo. Here, correct answer is option A. The commissioner prepared a report and signed it is a primary evidence. Question number five hundred forty. Which section of the Indian Evidence Act provides that contents of the document must be proved by primary evidence? Correct answer here is option D. That is section sixty four. Question number five hundred forty one. Which one among the following sections relates to secondary evidence? Here, correct answer is option C. That is section sixty-three. Section sixty-three is relates to secondary evidence. Sec five, question number five hundred forty-two. Photocopies of a document made from the original are primary evidence, secondary evidence, hearsay evidence. None of the above is correct. Here, correct answer is option B. That is secondary evidence. Question number five hundred forty-three. When a photograph an original is prepared without being compared, the photograph is primary evidence, secondary evidence, not admissible, admissible but not as reliable. Here correct answer is option B that is secondary evidence. Question number 544 which one among the following is not a secondary evidence copies made from the original by mechanical process copies made from or compared with the original counterparts of documents lithography here correct answer is option D that is lithography is not a secondary evidence. Question number 545 copies made from or compared with the original is primary evidence secondary evidence inadmissible evidence none of these here correct answer is option B that is secondary evidence. Question number five hundred forty six. Secondary evidence includes certified copy of a court's judgment, oral account by any person of a document who has seen it, copies prepared or compared with originals. All of the above. Here, correct answer is option D. That is all of the above. Question number five hundred forty seven. Secondary evidence is admissible when the non-production of the primary evidence has not been accounted for. Where the non-production of the primary evidence has been accounted for, irrespective of whether the non-production of a primary evidence has been accounted for or not, and option D, both A and C are correct. Here, correct answer is option B. That is where the non-production of the primary evidence has been accounted for. Secondary evidence will be admissible then. Question number five hundred forty-eight. Secondary evidence includes certified copies of the original documents, copies made from the original by mechanical process, copies made compared from the original. All of these. Here, option D is the correct answer. Question number five hundred forty-nine. Secondary evidence of a document means copies of that document, oral accounts of the contents of the document, both A and B, and neither A or B. Here, correct answer is option C. That is both A and B. Secondary evidence of a document includes copies of that document, oral account of the contents of the document, both A and B is the correct answer. Question number five hundred fifty. Under Indian Evidence Act, a copy compared with a copy of a letter made by copying machine is primary evidence, oral evidence, secondary evidence, any of the above. Here correct answer is option C that is secondary evidence